Hello everyone and welcome back for another video here on the channel. Welcome for my returning subscribers and welcome if you are new. If this happens to be your first time here on the channel, my name is Monet, I am 25 years old and here we deal with all things budgeting, using the cash envelope system and debt. So I am in the process of eliminating my debt and I am using the debt snowball method to help me out with that. So definitely if that sounds like something you are interested in and you want to learn and be a part of, then please go ahead down below, hit that subscribe button, join the family. I would absolutely love to have you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload a new video. So today it is going to be a debt update. As we can see, I have my lovely debt tracker here in front of me, and we are going to see where my debt stands as of today. So if that sounds like something you are interested in seeing, then just keep on watching. All right, so as normal, I am going to complete my debt tracker by listing my debts, my balances, the due dates, and the minimum payments, and just getting an update to see how I did last month compared to where I am today. So as always, if you are interested in the debt tracker and you feel like this is a nice way to motivate you and get you inspired to eliminate your debt, I do have this paper available within my budget kit, but I also sell just the debt tracker alone if that's something you are solely interested in. All of that information is within my Etsy shop and the link is down below. So getting started with my debt tracker, I am just going to go ahead and list all of my debts. If we remember from last month, it was a big update for me. Um, I was in the process of eliminating my debt and only had my student loans left to pay. And I was narrowing down to my last student loan, but life happened and I did have to purchase a car and that got me with a car loan that I now have to pay off as well. So now my debt is going to reflect that and hopefully we're able to see some progress because last month I got knocked down because I added more debt to it. So today I'm hoping to at least get back to where I was or at least surpass where I was. So we're gonna see where we're at today, but either way, I'm excited to see the progress. So let me go ahead and list my debts and I'll bring you guys back once I'm done. So here are my debts. GL stands for Great Lakes, which is my student loan provider. And I originally had eight student loans and I've been working the debt snowball method to eliminate each of them one at a time. If you aren't aware, when it comes to the debt snowball method, you focus on your lowest debt and then throw any additional money that you can towards eliminating that. And then once you knock that off, you move to the next one and then it just slowly builds up. I do have a whole video explaining what the debt snowball method is. So if you need further explanation after this, then go ahead and check out that video and hopefully I can offer you some more insight on it. But anyway, so looking at Great Lakes, we already know that I only had one student loan left. So all of these are still at zero. And the progress that we were able to make last month now put my Great Lakes number eight at $1,302. Can we believe it, guys? I am in the 1,000s on my last student loan. I am so close. I can just taste the freedom and it's just so exciting to see that number. I constantly keep going back to the app, looking at the balance and making sure what I'm seeing is real because I just can't believe it. Like to start off with over 20,000 and just wondering when are you ever going to be able to pay that off and finally see your results. It's just very inspiring and it just really lifts me up to see the progress that I have made. So that is where we stand as of today with student loans and we are definitely on track to knock this off before the interest has to come back. So now we get into the car loan. This did not decrease a lot because I've only been making the minimum payment and this does have interest on it. So the money that I paid on it basically came back with interest. 
but that's fine. We're going to be working on that soon once we knock this student loan off. And as of today, my balance for the car is at $4,149. So when we're looking at a due date, I normally pay my student loans on the 26th of each month. So that is what we will say. And my car is due on the 21st of each month. And then the minimum payments, which has been building up since I've begun this method. So I'm now at $483 consistently that I always pay towards my debt. So this always gets applied to my student loans. And then the minimum payment for my car loan is $117. So adding up my minimum payment, that's $600 a month that I'm always paying towards debt. It's very sad every time you see it, every time you acknowledge it, but just imagine once I'm done, that's $600 in my pocket per month that I can do what I want with. So now it's time for the most important part to see where my balance is. So 1,302 plus 4,149, that gives us $5,451 that I have for debt. We are back in the 5,000s, which is super exciting. So the next thing that we do is come down here and fill out the bottom. So last month's debt total, that is exactly what it sounds like. If we look at my debt tracker from last month, my total for debt was 6,970. So that is, of course, what we will write here. And then last month's payoff total is just the difference between this month to tell me how much money I put towards debt. So 6,970 minus 5,451 gives me $1,519 that I put towards debt. Obviously, I did put more to it, but as I said, with interest, it knocks you down a little bit, but at least I was able to put over 1500 towards actually eliminating my debt, which is amazing. So we will go ahead and write 1519 And then my starting debt balance is now at 37339 This is the total amount of debt that I was in since deciding to start my debt journey. And now we will get our percent paid off. So to get that, you will do your starting debt, 37,399 minus where we are today, 5,451. So that gives me $31,888. So this is in total the amount I was able to put towards debt. I have now been on my journey for one year and 10 months, and I've put over $31,000 towards debt. All right, and then to get our final percent, we're going to take that number and then divide it once more by our starting. And that gives me 85% paid off towards my debt. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that puts me back at where I was before I added the car. If we look at my jar, because I like to use this jar to keep me motivated and this jar tracks my entire debt journey. Last month, I was not able to fill anything within the jar because I was making up for the fact that I added money. And when I was knocking down my debt, the last update I had was 84%. So technically I'm past 84, but since my jar is in twos, I don't wanna color in until I hit 86%. So it's nice to see that the next time we do a debt update, I will be able to fill in the jar. But as of today, we're just back where we started. So one month knocked us down, but we are not out for the count. Now that we know holistically how much I put towards my debts, I will now fill in my progress trackers to show my progress within my individual debts. All right, so here we are with the progress tracker. This listed all of my debts that I had and I tracked them individually and they showed when I paid them off. So I love this tracker as well. And we are going to focus on our student loans that we were able to make some progress on. So let me grab the calculator. And to show our progress within Great Lakes, 
we are going to look at our starting. So we started with 22,802. And if we subtract that from where we are today, which is 1,302, that means I've managed to put $21,500. So I can color in up exactly till 21,500. So we have officially now turned the corner and we are so close to the finish line, guys. So let me go ahead and color this in and reflect our progress. All right, so there we go. Showing our progress within Great Lakes and it is amazing to see. For my car loan, I also have a progress tracker for that but I don't believe we're going to be able to color anything in. So if we do the same thing, the car started with 4,240 and looking at where the car is today, it's at 4,149. So, so far I've managed to put $91 towards my car and our first box isn't until 120. So we're not gonna color anything in for the car, but that's fine, we'll get there when we get there. The main event is the student loans and that's the beauty of the debt snowball method. You just work on your one loan at a time and appreciate the progress and pat yourself on the back for what you're accomplishing with that. All right, you guys, so there you have it. When it comes to my debt, that's all I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed as always. Please be sure to go down below, share your accomplishments, share anything that you think would be beneficial for me within my journey. I always love talking to you guys within the comments, so be sure to do that down below. And give this video a big thumbs up as well because that really does help and support my channel. If you made it all the way to the end, you're enjoying what you're seeing, you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join the family. And I will see you all next time within my next video. Bye guys.